There are two main ways we can figure out which element here on the periodic table is represented by this electron configuration ending in 3d5 for s1. The first way is we just count up all of the electrons that we find in the configuration. And when we do that, we end up with a total of 24 electrons in this electron configuration. On the periodic table, all of these elements here on the periodic table, they are neutral. That means that the number of protons equals the atomic number. This is the atomic number right here. So the number of protons, that's the atomic number. Since they're neutral, that's going to equal the number of electrons. So all we have to do is find element with an atomic number 24 right here. That's chromium. So the electron configuration we have up here, this is chromium. Do note that often the 4s, that'll be before the 3d. So that's something good to be aware of. Chromium is an exception. It's one you should be aware of. It's very commonly used on exams and in chemistry. So instead of having 4s2, 3d4, which is what we would expect, we have 4s1. That's because we moved one of these s electrons over to the d, so it would be half full. There's a link in the description that describes why this is the configuration we see for chromium. But by counting up all the electrons, we figure out how many electrons we have. Since chromium is neutral, there's no negative or positive. That means the electrons equal the protons, the atomic number here. This is the configuration for chromium. This is Dr. B figuring out which element has the electron configuration 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 3d1, 4s1. It's chromium. And be aware, chromium has an exceptional electron configuration. Thanks for watching.